Hello. Before us, we have another odd one out question. As I've explained before in the prior videos, an odd one out question involves a set of statements that may or may not be ordered, may or may not be a jumbled paragraph, of which all, all other alternatives belong to a continuity, a single continuous paragraph or a single continuous part of a paragraph, while one of them does it. One of them is an external sentence from another source or elsewhere, anywhere. So let us try to solve this odd one out question. First of all, we try to find the sentences that depend on other sentences in order to eliminate them first, right? So we look for keywords. We look for words like prepositions, conjunctions, determiners, uh, some certain articles, certain usage of articles in certain ways that show that they depend on another sentence and have no existence of their own. And we check if the precedence is found, if that preceding sentence is also found. And if we have found them, we can eliminate two sentences together since they are intimately tied with each other, mutually bonded, right? So we can eliminate both of them. So let us see if that is the case here. Again, we find that there is a certain word called it, but we need to ascertain if this it is answered in the sentence itself, which it clearly is. It is the duty of the police to serve. So this to serve the society to the best of its abilities, this answers it. So this is not uh, an external reference. This is an internal reference. So this is useless. This is not to say that the police do no good work. What is not to say that the police do no good work? This, this, this is not answered here. What is not to say that the police, this is not the answer to this. This is not there. Like this, it was answered here itself, but this, this is not answered here. So we need to find what is not to say that the police do no good work. But this has been the case. What has been the case since independence? Again, not answered in the question, right? So we find that these two are not answered and we can eliminate, we can certainly eliminate this and this since it is already, uh, sorry, uh, we can, uh, we cannot eliminate the previous one. We can eliminate this since it is answered in the question, but we cannot eliminate this one since it is not answered in the uh, option itself, but this is answered in the option itself. These two are not answered in the option itself. So uh, we need to find what is not to say that the police do no good work. So this is not to say that the police do no good work, right? So not to say a negative. So the pre preceding statement, which is being referred by this, would certainly be something that says that, that suggests, maybe wrongly, misleadingly, but definitely suggests that the police actually do no good work. Right. So a previous statement must be criti uh, critical of the police. The list of incidents of incompetence and convenience and again, a lot of negative things at the police station is wrong. A lot of negative, negative things about the police and this sentence continues, uh, continues it, but this has been the case since independence and will continue to be so literally says continue to be so, but in a different context, obviously this is chronological continuity. Uh, we have uh, police reforms and start with the police station because it's at this level that the common citizen first gets in touch with cops as a complainant witness or an accused. So this sentence says. Now the list of incidents of incompetence and so either of either of these two sentences precedes uh, this sentence, right? But we know that this sentence is also preceded by something, right? So we know that uh, definitely this sentence should precede this sentence since we know, but this has been the case. What has been the case? Is this something? Yes, these are both in line, right? Since these, uh, this says that a lot of negative things, like a lot of negative events that happens at, at a police station. And this one uh, takes this entire thing, takes this entire bracket and just summarizes it in one, uh, just, uh, you know, absorbs it in one word called one pronoun, uh, one referential, sorry, one referential that says this. So, but this has been the case since in independence and will continue to be so unless we have police reforms. So what is this? This is the list of things that go wrong at a police station. So this makes perfect sense, both grammatically, linguistically, as well as logically, right? So these two sentences uh, come one after the other. What has been the case? This has been the case, right? And now uh, this sentence, which says, this is not to say that the police do no good work. Since this sentence follows this, this cannot come in between them. But this requires something that says that the police do no good work. Because the next sentence, this sentence says that uh, this is not to say that the police do no good work. Like the police does some good work. Which, will, which might be clarified in a later sentence, which might or might not be mentioned here. So uh, this sentence will follow this sentence since this talks about all the negativity. So this follows here, right? Now this, uh, these three are eliminated. 
let us uh, now uh, obviously c is the answer but let us make sure that c is the answer in order to make sure we just check it is the duty of the police to serve the society to the best of its abilities right can this sentence uh, come after this sentence certainly not right it cannot come after this because after this we have this it cannot come after this because after this we have this so only place it can go is after this but can this sentence come after this sentence let us check it is the duty of the police to serve the society to the best of its abilities so uh, it is the duty right it is a duty but then this sentence says that this is not to say that the police do no good work so the next sentence should actually be a clarification of uh, an example maybe a citation of what good the police has done right in in its favor in its defense so there should be a justification that if i say that it is not to say that the police do no good work so i must clarify because it is a very short sentence so the next sentence should clarify that the police uh, do actually do some good work but if you look at this sentence this is going another place this is going in it is the duty of the police to serve the society yes it is the duty of the police to serve the society but then this is not related to what is being mentioned here in fact this could have come much earlier much earlier right so uh, let us check if this sentence because it cannot come in between sentences because we have established a continuity a flow of three sentences let us see if this sentence can precede this sentence right it can precede this sentence so let us try to ascertain that so let us uh, clear the area up first so let us see if this sentence can come before a right so we will just check that once we'll check that and uh, okay so a says the list of incidents of incompetence and connivance of the police so it talks about negative things about the police so it is the duty of police to serve the society to the best of its abilities and the next sentence will say that uh, the list of uh, incompetence and convenience or uh, connivance of police right so connivances and incompetence is something negative right about the police so how uh, does it justify to have like it, it could have been it is the duty of the police to serve the society to the best of its abilities but that is often not the case and then you say that why it is not often not the, the why it is often not the case because uh, there are a list of bad things about the police but directly without an intervening sentence this sentence being followed by this is doesn't make sense so this sentence doesn't have a place neither before or after this sentence neither before or after this sentence neither before or after this sentence so we can be 200 percent sure that this sentence is the odd one out this is the imposter sentence. So thank you. Hope you enjoyed the session. Hope to see you again. Thank you.